Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Honolulu and Aloha Stadium, perhaps one of the most spectacular places to play college football. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. Gathered in at the 6. They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. Well, Kirk, today we get to take a look at one of the top quarterbacks in the country, and you and I have been looking forward to this. Garrison's decision-making abilities make him very effective against any defense he's ever played with. Well, defenses have to put pressure on him and not let him get comfortable. If you allow him to scan the field, he'll simply pick you apart. If you can disrupt his rhythm, it'll give you a chance of at least shutting him down. Tackle made at the 28. A two-yard run by the halfback. Gets it out quickly. He gets hit out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's taken down right around the 44-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. He's got room to work. And they push him out around the 50-yard line. The Warhawks always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's taken down at the 42. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. Mike five, Mike five. He wants it all. Big catch there as they knock him out of bounds. This quarterback doesn't seem to be having any trouble with his own, does he? He recognized the receiver was behind the coverage, and he found him with a perfect strike. That's nice passing for a first down. First down. They've got the defense on their heels now. It's first and goal. Touchdown! And he hits the PAT. It was a seven-play, 74-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. The score now, 7-0. Sparks from the six. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. The Warriors have a new head man. New theories, new hopes, new dreams. Will there be new wins? We'll find out.
The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Tackled after a decent pickup. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on their own 34. Outside for a nice game. That'll make it 31. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. The 10. Touchdown, Hawaii. guarantee you'll be seeing that one in the highlight reels. What a great, great run. A real display of all the tools that he brings to the table. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT. Jackson is lined up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He's got the corner. Across midfield. Has some daylight. To the 20. Knocked out of bounds. Around the 16-yard line. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out in the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Now he's scrambling. Tackle at about the seven yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And they make the stop right around the 10 yard line. This is really quick with his lateral movement, especially for a guy this big. He got to the ball carrier before he could get out of the backfield. This should be an easy field goal. Kicks away, and he got it. Even though they gave up the field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Fielded at the nine. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. He might have a chance. Down around the 38-yard line. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. The 39. And they'll bring him down behind the line. A yard, if that, on the quarterback keeper. That'll bring up fourth and one. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. He makes it to the 35-yard line. The Warhawks really taking care of business early in this football game. Yeah, somebody forgot to tell them that they're the big underdog in this game and they're supposed to lose. I love their confidence that they're playing with right now. 
Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Louisiana Monroe holds a field goal lead. Fired quickly, and he's got his man. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up second and three. Roger, Roger. Check there, check there, and one, and one. Let's go, defense. Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. So at the end of one, Louisiana Monroe leads it 10-7. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. It's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. The Warriors lost a player earlier in Herbie. This is a big blow to this team. Doesn't look like he's going to play any more football today. He's at midfield, has it to the senior. They'll bring him down at about the 49. At the 49-yard line. That makes it 37. They come out on an empty backfield. He scrambles. He's at the 40. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. You know, Brad, that's the second third down that they've been able to convert on this drive. And this offense right now has really showed a lot of poise and been able to hold on to the football and try to maintain this drive. And he's tackled around the 18-yard line. Well, that's a big gain there for the offense. And all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. Five wide. Scrambling around. Slides down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. Tenth play of the drive. Louisiana Monroe has a three-point lead. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Tackle made at the 17-yard line. Fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kick is up, and it's through the uprights. Anderson has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He'll return it from the six. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. There he goes. He's pushed out of bounds around the 49-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. He fights forward to around midfield. That's a team of one on the play. 
That brings up second and nine. yard line first down makes it out to about the 16 so they go on the ground and pick up another first down they are stringing together a nice little drive here if they keep this up it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone Comes away with about four there on the option play. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 12. What a play, and that is first and goal. They put everyone up on the line. They bring him down in the backfield. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. That brings him second to goal. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's taken down at the three-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That makes it third and goal. Here it is, folks. Third and goal from the two. Roger, Roger. 34 is the fight. 34 is the fight. And they'll get him in the backfield. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. From the seven. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Louisiana Monroe is up a field goal. Aaron and out long. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. We're going to halftime, and we've got a great game. 13-10, Warhawks. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. We've been looking forward to this game all week and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. But you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. 
does it get any better? David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Tackle at the 30. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. to the 40 and he's taken down right around the 48 yard line from their own 48 yard line it's first down Pitches back. Solid five-yard pickup there on the halfback option. That brings him second and five. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. away with five there on the option to the fullback from the 36 yard line it's second down they'll bring him down for a loss on the play so they wrapped him up before he could get anything going yeah there was nothing there on that option Unbelievable. He had a pick in the end zone and it just slipped right through his hands. Wow. He is really kicking himself after that one. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Quick shot to the open receiver and he can't hang on to the ball. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Louisiana Monroe is up by three. He's scrambling. So it's second and 12. Ball on their own 37. Throws complete and he's hit right away.
Gets it. He's in space. And they make the stop right around midfield. That's a game made on the play. First down. going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. From their own 49-yard line, second down. He heaves it deep. Incomplete. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guy's hands. And well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. Louisiana Monroe holds a field goal lead. It's away. Short punt. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Here's the pitch, and now the ball is free. The offense scoops it out. And they're lucky to retain possession of the ball there. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. That's a great tackle at the 37. Putting situation. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Jackson to punt. He's to the 40, and he's taken down at the 44 yard line. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it six and six. Louisiana Monroe has a three-point lead. They need to get it inside the 46. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. Great effort here by the wideout to secure the ball and pick up some extra yardage. the 30-yard line. It's been a defensive masterpiece through three. We'll draw up points in the final quarter. Louisiana Monroe leads it 13-10. Great three quarters of action. Tight ball game. And now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. They come out in a five-wide set. Run to the that makes it first and ten. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Pass 
out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. From the 26-yard line, it's second down. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Louisiana Monroe is up a field goal. Nice run, and he's brought down. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Kicks away, and he's got it. is lined up to kick this one off. Gathered in at the six. Brought down at the 30-yard line. The defenses have certainly been the story in this football. No doubt about it. The defenses have been dominating on both sides of the ball, but one play from either of these offenses could determine the outcome of the ball game. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Sullivan comes away with two yards on the quarterback keeper. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own 32. Takes it right side for a good game. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. And he hits him hard at the 32 yard line. two-yard line. First down. Here we go. Black, black, black. And down he goes around the 29-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Action. Now he's scrambling. Slides down. A five yard quarterback scramble. And so it's another third down upcoming here. And now he pitches it. Inside the 10. And he tackles him hard at the two yard line. That's the second time that this defense has given up a first down on third down. You work so hard as a defense to get an offense to third down. When you get them there, you've got to be able to have somebody step up and make a big play, whether it's a defensive tackle slipping through a block, a linebacker shooting a gap, a defender in the secondary that's able to make a play on a football. Somebody's got to make a play, and that's what winning, the difference between winning a football game and losing is how you play on third down. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. They'll bring him down at the three. He never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. From the three-yard line, second down. Tackle made at the two. Harrison only picks up about a yard there on the option. That makes it third and goal. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. 
touchdown, and we've got a tie ball game. Here's the extra point that can give them the lead. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice nine play, 70 yard drive. And they get it in for seven. You know, this offensive line has done a really good job, but really, I think it's more about the big play ability from the running backs and why we've seen so many big plays from this offense. They line up to kick this one away. Oh, from the six. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Garrison's the guy, and he knows it. He wants to carry his team right here. There are certain guys that want the ball in their hands with the game on the line. I don't care what sport you're talking about. And this quarterback is that guy. He wants the football, and he wants a chance to win the game for his team. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. quickly and he's got his man and he's tackled at the 35 yard line that'll bring up second and three caught out of the open he's tackled at the 41 gain of six yards first down Quick strike, and he drops it. From their own 41-yard line, it's second down. Quick strike to the receiver. He's taken down at the 46-yard line. That's a game of 15 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Another catch. And he's taken down at about the 17 yard line. First down. From the 17 yard line. First down. up a yard of anything on that run. The Warhawks taking their first time out of the half. This is the eighth play of this drive. He gets it up. Yes, he made it, and this one is over. Man, that is as big as it gets. He had the whole game on his shoulders, and he was perfect. You really feel great for a guy when he's able to come through like this. This one's in the books. The Warhawks come out on top, 19-17. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.